So I think it's time for another makeup declutter. I was yesterday like getting ready and few things smell a bit off. I do have makeup inventory where I put like when I open the product, how long the shelf life is after opening and when I should finish it. Sometimes I give myself like a little buffer of like four, six months, depends. But yeah, it was a bit like smelling off. Few things I finished so I can toss them. And yeah, let's just go over everything I have. Let's do a little like quick reviews of everything and let's declutter. I have a feeling it's gonna be quite a few things, but I'm excited. These are like my favorite videos to film and watch and it just feels nice to declutter, organize, go through your makeup to see what you have, what you don't have. And just like, yeah, let's get to it. Let me know and I will send this to you. So I store all my makeup in these two drawers pretty much and in third one there is like unopened stuff and here it's like the unopened skincare so a few things are on on the top of my vanity-ish so let's just take everything out and go category by category This is all the makeup that I have opened and unopened. So yeah, let's let's see and let's see what we can declutter, open all of that. Okay, so these are all the things that I have as for like primers and foundations and like skin tints. And I for sure know I have quite a few to declutter from here. Let's start with like primer kind of category. So these are all the primers-ish I have. Um, I just started using this, it's for from Carevice. I'm still not sure how I feel about it, the beautiful primer. I don't know, I mean, I will use it. I will use more of it. I love Carevice as a brand. I love the packaging. Uh, it does smell a bit, a lot, like a bit a lot, like a coconut-ish, but yeah, I just, I wanna try to use it more. I only used it like a few times. So this one is stain. This one is new, uh, it's the Say Super Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. I just mix it with my moisturizer and I really enjoy this one. I do want to get like the darker version that they have. But yeah, this one is super nice so far. I also like just opened it a few months, no, not even a few months ago, I think a month ago or even less. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this one. And uh, next one, I think I'm almost honestly done with it. I took it for my vacation like a month ago and it's also kind of the same like a drunk elephant glowy drops. I don't love it, but I use it with the moisturizer and gives like nice a bit of glow and a bit of like color to my face when I don't want to use anything else. Uh, and I think I will finish it like in a month or so. So I will be finishing this one up. It's by Terry Brightening CC Serum in the color Sunny Flash. Let me just show a little. This is like without the moisturizer, so it's a bit, a bit lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just gives nice kind of color. And this one, I think I'm like halfway done. I did enjoy it, but I feel like it smells a bit off already so I don't really feel safe using it um, it does say that the, after opening the shelf life is only six months which is like I feel like it's not enough 
but yes, uh, I don't think I should use it. I don't want to throw it away, but also it wasn't as expensive as like some other things, so I don't feel as bad. And I did use it quite a, while, uh, quite a bit. It's actually in my project pen right now, but yeah, I will just put something else in. But I think halfway, it's not great. It's like kind of raised, but yeah. At least now after decluttering, I will like know what I need to use up and know what I have. So I will try to be more cautious. But yeah, this one is a declutter. Okay, next is like foundations. I only have two like proper foundations. Uh, this one is in my project pen, it's Ritual Skin Foundation Stick uh, in the shade Lightest. It's from Eye of Horus and I've been really, really loving it. I never thought I would like this kind of foundation, but like I have tiny bit left uh, and I really, really enjoy this one. So I will be using this one up. I think it's still good for like another three months-ish because uh, the shelf life is 12 months after opening so I will I do really want to finish this and use this one up so this one is for sure staying and this one I just now opened it um, it's the scream foundation from Carewise and you can refill this one I love the packaging I didn't really try it yet I only swatched it so I will try it and try to use it but yes I don't really like I don't know if I like it yet but I, I love the packaging of this one so this one is for sure staying and last three this one is my absolute favorite I will for sure purchase it uh, is the Vestman Atelier Vital Skincare Complexion Drops and I have the shade zero uh, it's amazing amazing for like the drier normal skin and it looks so natural it looks perfect I was like I really didn't want to buy it at first because it was like quite expensive but you need the tiniest bit and it's just amazing so I will for sure purchase this one when I'm out of it um, but yeah this one is for sure staying uh, and these two this one I will declutter it as I like from the start it didn't really work that great for me I don't know like one day it worked great one day it didn't but I saw so many great reviews so I decided to buy it um, but then like after a few months, one month even, it started breaking me out. I'm pretty sure it was this thing because yeah, I, I tried like to stop using it and I tried to use it again and it gave me like a bit of like allergic-ish kind of breakout. Um, so yeah, this one is a declutter. And this one, I just opened it, uh, Trini London BFF Serum Distress. Uh, they sent it to me, which I'm super grateful for. It's so far so good. I really, I used it only a few times, so I cannot say like much, but um, yeah, I will try to use it more. Uh, but so far, so good. So this one is stained. So we have this thing stained, which is like still quite a bit, but yeah, these ones are stained and these two are a declutter. Let's do like sprays. I have three here. Um, this one is not actually airbrush. I finished the Charlotte Tilbury one and I will repurchase it. Uh, this one is the MAC Fix Plus. I put it in this bottle because this bottle is like sprays really nicely. Uh, yes. So I will, I don't know if I should just finish it up. It's like tiny bit left. I will finish it up like in the next week or two and then declutter. So this one is pretty much declutter. Uh, this one I'm using as the setting spray. It's the only setting spray I have. Um, it's okay. It like sprays a bit too aggressively. Like it doesn't spray evenly. It just sprays like in one, one line, which I don't love, but it's okay. Like, I will finish it, it's fine, uh, but yeah. And this one is also Patrick Ta Dewy Milk Mist. It, it's alright, like nothing special, 
but yeah, I'm just using it mostly the same way as this one, like to blend stuff in, not necessarily as a setting spray. So pretty much these ones are staying and this one I will finish like in the next week and this one is going. I guess let's do concealers next. I don't have many. Oh, I have two here too. Um, yeah, I only have three concealers. Uh, and I actually use this one mostly as a concealer, the foundation stick that we kept. But yeah, I only have three. Uh, this one is one of my favorite ones, is the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. And I'm wearing shade 2, I believe, it doesn't say here. But yeah, you can see it's already quite a bit gone and I'm trying to use it up. Uh, I think it will expire like in the next few months so I will be trying to finish this one up as much as possible. Let me actually smell it. Yeah, it smells fine. Uh, but yeah, this one is staying. It's one of my favorites. Uh, this one, I didn't love it. Uh, I don't know. It, it just, it smells weird. It, it just was weird. I love the packaging of this one, but I don't know, it just was not, I don't know, it wasn't my thing, so, uh, and I think it smells a bit, it smells really strong, and I only opened it like a few months ago, so I'm not sure why. Yeah, this one doesn't smell like that, so I think it might have gone off, uh, so I will declutter this one. And say um, concealer, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's the same concealer. Uh, I use it as well. I don't use it as often as this one, but I use it mostly on my like blemishes and stuff like that because it's the color of my skin basically. And this one I use like all over. So yeah, these one, two are stain, and this one is a declutter. Yes, we are going strong. Let's do powders next. For for a person that like never really liked powders and never really used them, I have quite a few powders. Um, this one's actually new. I just bought them like recently and I've been loving these. So yeah, let's start. This is the Givenchy Prisma Libre Libre, <laughs> and it's in the shade two. Um, I I really really love this one. I didn't expect to love it as much as I do. Um, and yeah, this one is for sure stain because it was expensive. But I really 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 love this one. So this one is a keep. This one is also quite new to me, and I've been really enjoying it as well. Um, but yeah, I never been a fan of the powder, especially I didn't really think I would like loose powder. But these two have been so surprisingly good, so yeah, maybe I'm converted to being like a loose powder person. Uh, this one is actually, I consider it as an empty, so you tell me. <laughs> it's been in my project pen and I feel like, I feel like I can declutter it as an empty. But yeah, this one, the first powder that I really loved and really, really enjoyed using for somebody who doesn't like powder. But yeah, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in the Fair. I heard the new version, like the translucent one is not as good as this one, but I think I might repurchase this one sometime. But yeah, this one is declutter as a empty, kind of. Uh, this one is the Vestment Atelier Vital Press Skin Care Powder. This is my, like, my first Vestment Atelier product and then I was converted. Uh, it's great. I love this one so much. I don't use it like for how much I used it. I didn't use up as much. But yeah, I, I love this one. Uh, it's for sure staying. And I love the packaging of this one. And this one, I'm not sure what to do with it. It's the La Mer Powder Translucent. Um, I have like, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't use it at all. I don't know, I will keep it for now because it was expensive and I do want to use it more before it expires. 
at least powders like stay stay good for longer than cream products so I don't feel like bad keeping it because I mean I will use it maybe not as much as I would want to but I will use it so I will keep this one so yeah this one was not really successful category so we have four here two loose two pressed and this one is a declutter I guess let's do browsers. I feel like I had more. Okay, uh, these are the bronzers that I have. It's quite, quite a few. Uh, let's just start. Okay, this ones, these two are like more contours rather than a bronzer. So let's start with these two. This one is actually an empty, which I'm really surprised about it. But yeah, I finished it. It was in my project pan. I loved it and yeah I think I will repurchase it at some time but not yet but I loved it like some people don't love it at all some people love it so I don't know for me it worked great the color was great the way it blends was great so yeah I really really enjoyed this one so but it's empty next one is the my holy grail really like always mentally air products really uh, is the face trace contour stick in biscuit uh, I used it quite a bit too and it blends amazing it looks amazing the color is great and I will for sure for sure finish it so this one is staying I wish they had like the refillable packaging because like the the packaging is so so good like and it's like it feels luxurious I just wish I could just repurpose it so yeah this one is staying I actually don't think anything is going from this one but um, let's go like really fast through all of these um, these ones these two I got uh, as PR worked with them um, and I'm really grateful I actually will keep this one uh, is the shade 300 and 600 I will give away to somebody but 300 I will actually open and start using it yeah it's the the bronzer the the pressed bronzing powder so yeah I will keep this one and this one will go to somebody not that I have friends but I will try to find somebody and uh, this one, I think this one will leave like in a month or so because it's soon out of date. But I've made a really good progress on this one. Is the Chanel Les Beige Cream Bronzer. Um, actually, I don't know. I think it might be time to declutter it because... I don't know. It still smells fine and it performs fine. I'm going to give it like a month and then I'm going to declutter it and I will try to use it as much as possible in the next months and stay tuned for like the project pan update and I will just declutter it there probably but yeah I had like ups and downs with this one I loved it then I hated it then I loved it again so I don't know if I will repurchase it probably not but yeah I will try to use it more next one is quite new to me is the rare beauty bronzer um, in the bright side in the shade bright side I'm not a fan of any rare beauty products I tried but this one is is I like it um, I use it I like it I will keep it and keep using it but yeah I don't think I will repurchase it maybe we'll see and these two are the powder ones this freaking thing <sighs> Victoria Beckham was so disappointing, honestly, um, is matte bronzing brick and the, the product itself is nice, like I, I do like it, I enjoy using it, but it developed hard pen straight away pretty much and now I have to like scrape it and I want to use it more because it was expensive and I do enjoy the product, but uh, this packaging is like so freaking annoying, but yeah, this one is staying for now. And this one is, I love this one. I didn't expect to love it. Um, 
well, it's technically a highlighter, but I use it like as a topper, like a bronzer topper. It's in the shade 22 and I really, really love the way it looks on top of the bronzer. It's like give you like this perfect luminous, like <laughs> it's literally the luminizing face enhancer. But yeah, it's it's beautiful. So this one is for sure staying and I really want to try more clay depositing. But yeah, this one wasn't, as I said, as successful, so these ones are staying and one of them will go to a better home, if I find home. <laughs> Let's do highlighters as I don't have as many of them as I have blushes, or maybe I do. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a lot, but... Let's go for it. So first thing is this one. It's actually, I think it's supposed to be highlighting drops. I'm not sure how to use it, honestly. Is the pie, okay, it says add to moisturizer and apply, okay. Or you can apply it directly to the skin. I need to try it, to try it more, like to mix it with the moisturizer. So. I, I will keep it, but I will put it like with my kind of starters, <laughs> with my primers. Uh, okay, next, I have, yeah, none of these are going really. Uh, these ones, these two, I'm working on using them up and in the next few months, I wanna use them up as much as possible. I made a really good progress on them and then I will declutter them. Yeah, I think it's like, yeah, I made a good progress on it. So <laughs> this is the Beauty Light ones in Pillow Talk and the Spotlight. I do enjoy these, um, but yeah, I will try to use them as much as possible. This one is almost gone. Uh, these two are beautiful. Uh, it's the Vestment Atelier Lit Up Highlight Stick. This one is in Nectar and this one is in Brulee. Nectar is like this pinky shade. It's like so beautiful as a highlight. It gives like the perfect glow. I'm not sure if you can actually see that, but I love this one. And this one is brulee. It's like more bronzy neutral shade. Like you can see it more, but like when you blend it, it gives like the perfect natural glow. Again, you cannot see it. I don't know what's with my light here and the packaging again is like beautiful this one is my favorite so far like i think especially for summer it's like so so nice it gives you the perfect wet wet glow look i really love this one so this one is staying it's the reef i one they have only one shade it's the topaz oh actually i have here another one it's like the mini of the topaz so i will give it to somebody to try but yeah this one is staying this one going fish and these ones will go like in a few months so it stopped recording but i found one more which i will declutter because i think it's out of date <laughs> expired already is the nude stick highlighter in 99 percent angel i did really enjoy this one it was really nice and I used it quite a bit, but yeah, I think it's just, it's time to declutter this one. And as I was saying before my camera rudely died, these two are the super loaded tinted highlighter. This one is Peau de Soleil and this one is Peau de Santé. I'm not sure how to say it. They are like just perfect to wear on their own without like any other blush or bronzer or on top like it's it's they're just perfect they're really beautiful especially this one i didn't expect because i'm like so pale i didn't expect i will love this one as much as i do i just use it like as a bronzer blush highlighter mix i used it today as well and they're just beautiful so they're same. so yeah these are staying and these two I'm almost done and I will declutter them in like months and this one is declutter 
Next, blushes. It's like the biggest category. Oh, actually, I I did have another another highlighter. So I had this highlighter uh, in Radiance together with this one. I will not open it yet because I have more things and I don't want to like start it, but it's staying. And the blushes. So these are all the blushes that I have. It's quite, quite a few, but I do like my blush. <laughs> so for sure the ones that are not going anywhere are these from Westman Atelier. Uh, this is a mini, which I think the mini is the best to buy because they do last a long time and yeah, you just don't need the big ones, um, but they are amazing. So this one is the in Minette, I'm not sure how to say it. It's like this pretty color, like a bit of a peachy pinky. This one is the Popette. It's like really bright one. I love this one for summer. It's really nice. And this one is Bichette. I did use it quite a bit. Like this one is my go-to at the moment. And, and this one is like really neutral one and it's really, really nice. Actually, let's see when I swatch them, if I have any that's repeating and I can just declutter maybe those. So these ones are stain. Um, again, this one I have uh, the refill in the shade Precious, which I will not open yet because I have quite a few and I will open it later, but it's stain. Another one I have is this Refi in Citrine. Uh, it still has like half a year for sure. I need to use it more. It's like this perfect orangey color. I do really enjoy it. So, and it's not something that I have in other colors. So it's stained and it's like really small, but yeah, again, it lasts quite a bit of time. Oh, I actually remember I have one more. Um, then I have this one. I didn't use it like at all. It's lip to cheek. I need to use it more or let's see if it's like really similar. I will. Okay. It's not. <laughs> I was thinking I could like give it to somebody, but I just need to use it more. And I think it's really nice color for summer. So I will keep it too. Oh no. It's so dirty. Um, next one is the one I will declutter. This is the one that's smelling really weird um, it, it did like come to its expiry date after opening but yeah I thought I have some more time with it but no but I did use it a lot and I do really enjoy it is the in the shade Tropic Equinox I do really enjoy it and I did use it quite a bit especially the highlighter but yeah it's time to declutter it because I think it's expired Next one is this Carewise one. This one is the Little Duo. I do use it quite a bit too. Uh, and it's really nice. Again, it's different color from what other ones I have. So I, I will keep it and I do really enjoy it. Both of these. And this one I think is my favorite from this one is the Desired Glow and I already hit the pan and it's like perfect neutral, really neutral color. So this is the one. Again, not something that I have. I pretty much, oh no, pretty much have all the different shades. So this one is stained and I love blush. So this one I think it's Yes, yeah, soon. I should declutter it soon. It's the Oh, She's Different, Patrick Tam. I do really enjoy it. Let me actually smell it. it. Smells still fine. I think I will declutter it like by the end of the year, maybe with the next declutter. Kinda have the same wipe as this one and like somewhere with these three. 
um, but this is like one of my favorite blush formula I don't use the powder one as much as I do use the cream but yeah I need to use it more and this one is stain and the last two powder ones that I don't feel as bad keeping because powder like stays longer this one is the chip cheek to cheek in pillow talk I do really enjoy this one I didn't like use it as much before it has still smells fine and it's like really pretty shade too okay I will keep it for now this one I actually never reach for but I really need to but I just don't reach for the blush like the powder blush really but it has like some nice shades and it's powder so I will keep it for now so yeah this one was not really successful we are keeping all of these and we are only decluttering this one let me wash my hand off but yeah it's like I feel like I have really good selection of the blush colors okay let's do eyeshadow palettes and the single eyeshadow Oh, actually this one is the highlighter and I need to use it more I just off, always overlook it let me actually smell if it's still fine yeah it's still it's still fine it performs good as well and it's really pretty highlighter so I will keep it and we will put it in the highlighter <laughs> Okay, so these are all the eyeshadow palettes that I have. I don't have as many, honestly. Um, right off the bat, I will declutter this one as I haven't reached for it like since the last two declutters. It's really nice colors, uh, but I don't really use them anywhere. So I will see if somebody wants it, but it's really nice palette, but yeah I I just don't really use it so um, next one is my all-time favorite palette I use it now like pretty much every day and I wanna get more shades later and it's like cream to powder formula you can see like this one I almost done with it and it's the Rowan mood forever palette It's like so perfect I love it especially like these these two colors they're just like look at this <laughs> like it's so pretty on the eyes I yeah I love this one so this one is for sure staying and I need to get more of these later another one I have I don't love it as much uh, I love the colors I used it today as well and they last like pretty good but there is like such a huge fallout on these like it's crazy like I touch it like tiny bit and it's already like all falling out and yeah I I don't like I like it I will use it but it's just a bit annoying in the sense that so much fallout but yeah I, I will keep this one now let me actually keep it open so I see what colors I have this one is new to me uh, they sent it to me which I'm really grateful for and it's really pretty and it performs really good it's kind of similar to this one in the sense of like the the shade uh, but I think I really prefer the Kylie one but I will keep keep both of these for now because they do have like quite quite a few different shades and this one, I actually don't know if I should gift it to somebody as I don't really use the eyeshadow that much. Oh, I cannot open it. It's really pretty too. I, I really, really like it. But I just, I, I don't think, I don't think I need it. And maybe somebody can get better use out of it. Maybe I will do like a little giveaway on my Instagram. Let me know if you would like that uh, like for example of this one and like of this one and I have a few more things so maybe but yeah so this one is I guess going for now this one is going and these three are staying and let's get to the single 
Okay, I don't have as many single ones. Um, oh, actually, I do have a few more. I have a few more. Um, I will not declutter any of these for now because these ones are new. Even though I don't like the way they perform, I do use them from time to time and I just I don't feel comfortable throwing it away yet. <laughs> but yeah, they, they just transfer so much. Is the Satin Kayal whatever lip liner. Oh, lip. It's the Satin Kayal something Victoria Beckham eyeliner, the popular ones. Um, they just, I don't know, they, they don't, they don't stay. I tried different ways, they just disappear, they transfer, they're not nice, but I don't know, it's, they don't take up too much space. I know it's like a bad to keep something that you don't like or don't love, but I will keep it for now, try to use it and declutter it like with the next declutter, I think. And then I have this one. It's pretty nice and it's just a mini, so I will keep it as the by Terry, by Terry, like the single eyeshadow. It's really nice color too, so I will keep this one and it's just a mini and I enjoy it. So. And this is just like a black eye pencil. Um, yeah, I don't have any other ones, so I will keep this one for now. These two I actually use quite a lot and they're really comfortable and they're really pretty. Is the IT Cosmetics ones. I did use it like quite a bit already. This one is really nice. It's just like the pinkish, pinky shade. I feel like I need to add a little light here in the front. And this one is just like matte one. Uh, it's taupe one. Also really nice. So yeah, these ones are staying. Again, this one Victoria Beckham one. one blech, this one Victoria Beckham one. I don't really reach for it. Uh, I do need to because it, it's okay. Like honestly, nothing special. But I like sparkly things. So. And it's like powder, so I feel comfortable keeping it. And it's not old or anything, so yeah. This one, I need to use it in the next, sometime as with the next declutter it will go, is the lit tint. It's okay. Like, I do enjoy it when I use it, but it doesn't last too long on the lids. And yeah, but I will use it and declutter it with the next one. And these are... My babies, I love them. <laughs> I use them pretty much every day, honestly. Uh, is the Rendezvous set and the Le Jour set, I think. They're, honestly, I love them so much. They're perfect, especially this tabac shade. It's like perfect for every day. So there is this tabac shade uh, from the Le Jour set. Then there is this one, is like just like whitish one. I don't reach it for it as much, Naish, but I do really enjoy it as well. Then from the same set is this one, also really, really pretty. It's like a bit, a bit with the like purplish undertone, is the chocolate, it's like chocolatey aubergine color and from the rendezvous set there is the frappe which I do really enjoy as well and then there is bonne chance I'm not sure how to say it it's like super pretty green color I use it like all over all over the lid and under the lid under <laughs> under eye uh, and it's I love it and then there is this one, the so it's like this pretty pinkish one. I would definitely recommend the one the Wu set. Like it's my favorite. So these are my little babies. I love them. But yeah, all of them are fine. And I kinda want to get another set, but I don't I don't remember. I think it's not my favorite in terms of colors. So I will not get it. But I would like to, but I will not. 
but yeah these are I, I love them again they're really expensive for what it is but uh, I love them so much so I don't regret buying them at all they're staying let's do brow I don't have that many Yeah, that's it so these are my brow products uh, I know for sure this one is going because it's the older one I replaced it with the new one I love it so much but it was just already drying out and coming to to the end of its life so this one is going and I love that it has like a little spoolie on the end and uh, the brush here it was a bit broken but yeah I love this one um, I am working on using this one up it's like the tiniest bit left like just at the bottom I just use it on the no makeup days because it's, yeah it doesn't hold my brows that well um, but I will finish it like I think in the next few weeks and um, this one I just opened I love it staying this one surprisingly is so good like I really really enjoy this one it's kind of like the Cossus brow, but it actually holds my brows. So yeah, this one is stained. I will also try to use it up. So I don't have that many brow products, which is good. And this one is almost done. This one is gone. Mascaras. I have quite a few mascaras. Most of them are unopened ones. <laughs> Um, let's go through open ones. These ones are staying for now, uh, but I think it's time for them to go like in another month or so. I really try to be strict with my mascara usage and like declutter them when they hit the expiration period because I don't want to risk it. I don't love this one. It transfers a bit. Um, it's, it's okay. Like it, it's fine. It does transfer a bit and it's just not my favorite, like nothing special. It's okay. I do really, really, really love this one, surprisingly. <laughs> uh, it's so good. Like, it holds lashes, it separates them and lengthens. It's like, it's really nice. And it doesn't transfer. It lasts really nice. What is this? Yeah, it lasts really nice. It's... I love this one. And <laughs> I have, like, I have three more. So, yeah, and I already gifted like one or two. I I love it so much and it's not sponsored. I wish it was, but I love it so much. So these ones are staying. This one is going, don't love it. Cause this one was nothing special and yeah, it's, it's a bit old already. And yeah, just, I mean, nothing special. And these ones will go like in the next months. And I have also this one, uh, Ilia Mini Limitless Mascara. I love minis because like they, you can actually use them mostly up before they expire because mascaras do expire quite fast. But, yeah. And a uh, Carewise one I have. I love their mascaras as well, but yeah, this is just closed one. So all of these are stained and I will replace these two soon with this one. I think we only have the lip products left. Let's do first like lip balm, lip gloss. Okay, so these are the lip balm gloss things that I have. Um, this one I'm working on is the Lip Glow, Dior Lip Glow. It's not as moisturizing as I would like it to be, but I enjoy using it and I'm almost, like, I will be done soon. I'm working on using this one up, stain. This one is new and surprisingly I love it so much. I want different colors. I can't believe I didn't try it, like, earlier. It's the Summer Fridays one and it's in the color brown vanilla or something vanilla beige stain these two are stain is the vestment atelier also like lip balm things they're really pretty they moisturize they look amazing on the lips stain i will just go really like fast crowns through this uh, this one 
I use it every day, love it. It's not my first one. And I think I will purchase more of these. Found one more. So yeah, love this one. This one, I bought it recently, is the lip oil from Rare Beauty. I don't know, I don't love the color. I don't love the feel, but again, I feel bad just throwing it away because like so many people want it, so many people love it and the price too, and I just bought it. I will try to give it more of a chance. Um, this one I will actually declutter. I the the color is really pretty, but I think it's like separating already, and I didn't use it for a while, and it was just like a present with purchase, so I don't feel as bad. So this one is declutter. These three are so good. I need to put them more on display to use them more because I keep forgetting I have them. I love these ones. They they look really really nice. So they're staying. This one, I don't use it as much, but I do enjoy the color and it's nice to have for now while, while it's still good. So, same. This one, again, didn't love it as much. Everyone was raving, but I think it's just the color. Of, it's like really... Yeah, and I don't really go out, so I don't have anywhere to wear it, but I do enjoy it from time to time. And this one is just clear refi gloss, which I really enjoy, so it's same. Yeah, this one wasn't really successful. We only got rid of one. Almost, almost done. These are like miscellaneous, kind of. I forgot to include this one in the brow. I don't use it as much, but I use it when I need it. So it's stain and it's only one brow, like, product that I have really. These three are my favorite lip liners. Love them. This is just red one in case I need it. Also, this one is the Kylie one. It's nice brown, like brownish one. And this is like the freckle pan. This ones are thin. And the category I never thought I will have this much things off because I don't really wear lipstick. <laughs> I do have quite a few things. Yeah, so can you cannot even see. <laughs> so these are all of the lip stuff that I have. It's a lot. And I already like gave some away. So yeah, I guess. Let, let's see. Let's start with something for sure is going because I think it's expired. Is this little mini NARS uh, Star Woman liquid lipstick? I do really enjoy this one. It's really nice color, but yeah, I think it's expired and I didn't use it since the last declutter, so it's going. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Uh, this one. Again, I didn't use it since the last declutter, so I think it's time for it to go. I will just give it to my mom because it's still fine. And yeah, but it's going. Next. Um, this one, this one is stain, is the sheer color coral, uh, is the like little lip balmy lipstick situation from Sisley like it stain. Uh, this is just nice to have. It's the Clay de Peau little red lipstick. It's like a mini. I like it stain. Then I have this one. Is the Dior also like like pinky magenta? I don't know. I don't know how to explain colors. It's in the shade Forever Lucky. Uh, it's pretty stain and it's quite new. So, yeah, this one I really enjoy. I need to use it more, I just forget. Is the Clay de Peau one in the shade Influential. It's like just perfect color, perfect pinkish color. Okay, and this. 
I don't know where, where to start. Okay, so these ones I already have open. I actually really enjoy these, uh, like not the matte ones, but lip glossy ones. What are them? Sheer, oh no, shine something. <laughs> anyway, like the shine lipsticks. I do really enjoy these. Um, so these ones are stain. This one, I don't love this color, uh, but I already opened it and like just now like recently so I will keep it as for these um, I don't know what to do and I have these lipsticks as well and I have these ones and I don't want to do like a giveaway on Instagram so maybe if you like if you're still watching it can be like your present I can send it some of it to you like same with like maybe these ones if you want um, just text in the comment subscribe and I can send it your way uh, I will just DM you or something uh, but let's see which ones yeah I will give away these two colors um, they're really nice I just I just don't wear them so let's say this for sure <laughs> in the giveaway um, then I have these they're really nice actually um, let's put like you can google to see like I will keep this one I think and I will give away this three so this is oop, this is gonna be like a little giveaway pile especially if you're in Europe let me know it's gonna be even easier honestly to send um, yeah let me know just wh where you're located and yeah just let me know how your day is going and <laughs> I will just send this to one of you and maybe some of these ones I will just choose the ones I want to keep maybe I'll keep like three of them and I will send to you other four let's say I don't know which colors I will keep yet but so let's say this one's gonna be a giveaway if you want it um, how yeah so comment subscribe and I will send it to one of you yeah